Hi everyone, my name is Jessica and I am an addict. And I need help, I need an inter intervention, I need someone to interfere in my life, I need someone to tell me no. Hi, you guys. I'm back with another one. Hi, all my cousins. I've missed you guys. I'm back with another one. So, in this one, I will be just telling you guys some new things that I have. You can see in the intro, I have a problem. I need help. I need to stop buying stuff. Let's get right into this video so it won't be too long. So, let's start. I do have some makeup products. I have some skincare products. And I have one hair care product. So, let's get right into it. So, the first makeup product that I do have is the... Um, Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. And I'm sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube. I love the packaging on this palette. Guys, do you see this? It just feels so durable. Like it's made with quality. Look like they took their time and made it. It does come with a mirror. And these are the, let's see if I can get it without blinding you guys. And these are the colors. I think they're so pretty. They're like neutral colors. This, they're kind of like an everyday kind of palette, and I really do like this. So if you have not picked it up, I would suggest that you go out and get it. I really like it. I've tried it one time, and I think the, the colors are really pretty. They go on really nice. They blend out really good. It's a good palette. All right, so then we're going to go to the Lancome, and this is the Tint. I'm trying, I'm not going to even try to say the name is foundation, but this is what it looks like. It's from Lancome. Pretty sure everybody has seen this also. And this is what the bottle looks like. I love packaging. Oh my gosh. It don't even have to be good. If it's the packaging is cute, I want it. Okay. Do, do you see this? This is pretty. Love this packaging. And this is in the shade 470 Sway C. Looks, this is what it looks like. And I really do like this foundation. I've only worn it probably three times. And I had a sample before I actually got the bottle, the um, full-size packaging. I mean, not packaging, the full-size bottle. Because when I went to the store, they did not have it in stock. So they had to mail it to me. So I used this probably one time, this one. But I do have a sample of it. And I like it, but I feel like that it kind of settles in my fine lines. And it's weird because I've never had a foundation to do that before. So, other than that, I really do like it. And the shade is, is spot on. Like, it looks like my skin. Just better. Okay? So, the next thing that I have is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. And, guys, I know, I just feel like sometimes that I've been living under a rock. Because I know this stuff has been out for a while and I've never tried it before. And this is what it looks like. Again, the packaging is adorable. Love it. I'm really excited about using this because I have heard wonderful things about their eye eyeshadow primers. Hope that it helps with my eyeshadow because I have been having trouble finding a primer. Okay, so the next thing that I have is the Benefits Bad Girl Bang Three is the 36 hour full blast volume mascara, and this is the packaging again. It's cute. Like, how did I pick up all these cute packaging? Okay, so this is cute. I have not used this mascara before yet, but I've heard great things about it. Kind of excited about it. They do have a full size. This is the I guess this is the mini size. I'm not really sure, but they do have a bigger size. But I want to kind of try it out before I go out and purchase another mascara because I have so many of them already. So that's the benefits mascara. Another mascara I have is the Maybelline's Total Temptation, and this is the very black. 604 uh, mascara the blue one i actually have the pink one i love it i love the pink one it, i think it's so great it makes my eyelashes look like i have on falsies which i never wear i think i tried falsies one time but their mascara is amazing so i wanted to pick up the blue one to see if it was as great as the pink one okay hope i'm not talking too fast guys my bad when i start talking i tend to start start talking really fast so the next one I have some lippies that I want to talk about. So this is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color Protective and number 85. This is what it looks like. I have not opened this yet, but I'll get around to it eventually. I have so many lip products that it's ridiculous. Okay, so on Instagram, I've been seeing like lip bar, the little advertising for it, and 
I've been trying to order them offline, but they always seem to be out of stock or sold out or something like that. So I went to Atlanta the weekend that just passed and they are sold in Target, but they're not sold in my Target. So I was in Target and I saw them. So, and they only had like three left. And these are, and I think this was these colors and then like two more. And I really didn't like the other ones. So I picked up these three and they're from Lip Bar. I think they're really cute packaging also. And I have tried these two. I haven't tried this one yet because I know I'm probably going to have to use a liner or something with it. But I really, well, okay, I think this one is like a gloss. And I kind of like gloss, but I have to be in the mood for it because it kind of moves around. It depends on what I'm going to eat because it's going to come off. But this one, the smaller one, it's, uh, I think it's matte. So it does stay on better. And I really do like the colors on these i think the pigment is really great they do stay on this one not as long as this one because it is more like a glossy kind of one kind of feel to it this is kind of matte so i really do like these and i do want to try more colors and i'm kind of, i'm looking forward to trying this one also all right so another lippy that i have is from color pop it's the lux give me some lips the lux lipstick and this is the packaging again cute and this is in the color hello stranger i have tried this and I really don't like it. I like the formula. I think that it feels really great on the lip, but I don't like the color. It kind of looks like a grandma-ish color to me. It's not what I expected, pretty much. I'm gonna swatch it for you. And it looks like it would be so pretty, but when I put it on my lips, it doesn't look right. I don't know what it is about it, but I really don't like it on my lips. Because when I put it on, I actually took it off and ended up putting on another lipstick that day. And I really thought that it was going to be pretty, like it looks like it's pretty, but on my lips, it doesn't look good to me. So I don't really like it. And I was really excited about trying this because I love ColourPop. They have some really great things. So the next lippy I have is from Colorame, and this is the Matte Lip Paint Roulette. And this is in the color, let's see, I guess Roulette, all right? So this one I do like. I saw um, Trey, I think her name is Trey. And I watch her snaps all the time. And this is the packaging. It's so pretty. I saw one of her pictures that she posted on Instagram. And I was like, oh my God, I have died. And I went to heaven, y'all. I went to heaven, like so seriously. And it's matte also. I love a matte. I really do. Sometimes I don't because they can be too drying. But this one is not too drying at all. It stays on. This is the color right here. It's so pretty, guys. I ordered, like, soon as I saw the picture and I had to go down and read the description on what she had on her lips, I went right onto the little website and I ordered it. And it's the best thing since sliced bread. Okay, beautiful. This is the color again. And this is in the color roulette. So, I love that one. And I do plan on doing a video with a look with that color really soon. So, keep a look out for that. And then I have a highlighter. And this is from the Anastasia Anastasia whatever the girl name is, it's the highlighter, and it's the Amariza Reza, somebody's, and this is the highlighter, I think that the packaging is so pretty, I have not tried this highlighter either, I'm just buying stuff and don't even use it, it's crazy y'all, okay, so this is what it looks like, it looks like it's gonna be so pretty, I'm so excited, I'm obsessed with highlighters, it feels really soft, really buttery, okay, let's see, and it's right there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks pretty. And the packaging is gorgeous, of course. This is that's the lid. So, of course, I'm going to use that in the video really soon also. So, that is all the makeup side that I have to talk about. Let's get into the skincare because I love, if other than makeup, I love skincare. And I have a lot of it and I'm using it all the time because I really am on this mission of trying to improve my skin. I want it to look more healthier, you know, clear. So I'm just trying anything. But let's get into the skincare. So I have the Sephora, the gel mask hydr hydrating and quenching, I guess, gel or mask. And this kind of reminds me of the Neutrogena one. And 
this is what it looks like. I've tried this. And the only reason why I ended up buying this one is because I actually bought something else from Sephora. And they're going to tell me that I can't get my money back, that I had to give, you get a gift card. So I had to buy something with it. And this is pretty much the only thing that I could find that I was kind of interested in. And it was around the price range that was on my gift card. So I got this and I've used it a couple of times. I mean, it looks identical to the Neutrogena one. But, and it smells like the Neutrogena one to me, but it's pretty good. You know, it's kind of lightweight. So, if you're looking for a lightweight mask, you should try this one out from Sephora. And then I have Moisturizer, and this is from, let's see, Peter Thomas Roth. I really do like his products, his skincare products. And I've tried this, and oh my God, y'all, I try. I put this in my face. I use this at night. I put it on my face, and the next day, I was just rubbing my face, and I was like, oh, my God, it feels so soft. Like, I couldn't remember why it was so soft, but I remember that I used this one, and it's so little. The jar is so little, but you only need a little bit, and this is what it looks like. It's just a typical white cream, and but it makes my face feel like a baby's behind. No lie, you know, so I really do like this, and this is the Water Drench Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. And it's a cute little packaging. Never disappointed. Well, the only the few things that I have tried from him, I have not been disappointed. So, I think that it's really great. If you have not tried it, definitely something to pick up if you're looking for a moisturizer. And then I have the Puns 3D Spot Correcting Cream. And this is what it looks like. And it's just a typical white cream again. And it has a nice clean smell to it. I've been using this. I've used this probably maybe two or three times. So I can't really say if it's, you know, worth the money or if it's helping with my dark spots or not. But I hope that it does. It says even skin tone in two weeks reduces the appearance of dark spots in four weeks. So I've only been using it probably two or three days. So I haven't got to the four week point yet, but I will be doing another skincare video probably when I've used this product more and kind of see what's working for me and if I am seeing any kind of results. So I will be doing another video on this when I've used it more. I just got this in the mail and it's from, it's from Urban Skin RX and it's the three in one treatment. It's cleanser, it's a cleanser, exfoliator, and a mask and it's an even tone. Cleansing bars, okay? So this is what it looks like you're supposed to use. You wet it and then you put the cleanser on your face and it says to, let's see, I did see, okay. The direction says massage onto the face, rinse off. You can allow the leather to remain on the skin for up to three minutes to use as a treatment mask. Follow with recommended Urban Skin RX toner, treatment sermons, and daytime or evening moisturizer. That's the instructions for this. I'm really excited about using it because I have seen this on Instagram. And I got it from uh, Target.com because they do not sell it in my Target. And so I had to order it online. Yeah. Great things about it. I'm really hoping that it does help with my skin. I also hope that it helps with my dark spots because I'm kind of tired of wearing makeup all the So this is the Peter Thomas Raw. And this is the 3% Solution Cleanser. And it says it helps improve the look of pores, smoothness, radiance, fine fine lines and wrinkles, uneven skin tone, and this is the blue bottle. I have used this probably two nights, and I feel like it makes my, my skin feel kind of smooth, and it makes it feel really clean, and um, I haven't really seen a difference because I only used it for three Then I have some Dr. Jar Jarts mask, and this is the Shake and Shock, the Rubber Hydro Mask. And this is this one. And then I also have the rubber soothing mask. So these are the two masks from Dr. Jart. And I actually tried this one before. I made a video, but it was too bright. So I took it down. So I will be making another video on these. I really do like them. I think they're fun. Now, if they improve my skin, I really can't say. But overall, I really like them. I think they're only like 11 to $12. So they're not that really, really expensive. But if you like masks and you just enjoy doing a mask, I would you know recommend these to you so i will be doing a video more in depth on these really soon and then the one hair care product that i have is the elasta qp and it's the intense for fortifying hair conditioning treatment and this is what it looks like the uh, maximum moisture conditioner and it says leaves hair detangled trying this 
So I don't know how it's going to work out with my hair, but I will be doing a hair video really soon because I did see in my comments that people wanted to see how my twist out came out. And guys, I'm really sorry about that, but I will be doing a video on my twist out really soon. I actually planned on doing one Friday, but I went out of town, so I ran out of time. But I'll probably do it probably in the next couple of days because I have to wash my hair, so that's why I look a mess right now. But yeah, so that's all that I have. But thank you guys for watching my video, and I love you, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.